concerned that the committee uh, of which I am the vice uh, is not performing as expected. And uh, I felt that I have been fighting this actually without bringing this out uh, for over two years. Uh, but the situation is such that my conscience no longer can allow me to allow this matter to be swept <coughs> under the carpet. And so I went ahead to bring it to the notice of the whole Senate uh, of uh, how the committee uh, is being conducting itself. So actually that was... Something in form of underhand was going on at the <coughs> or compromise the, the, the activities of the committee. You see, the, the issue is when you say committee, it means you are talking about group of people. Now, that committee, I cannot remember exactly, but I think we are supposed to be 11 or 12 members. Uh, all the members of the committee actually are desirous of carrying out their full responsibilities as in, uh, enshrined in the Constitution and also as spelled out by the standing orders of the Senate. <coughs> but however, you see, you are more conversant, even than myself, because I am first-timer to the Senate. The, the, the way the National Assembly works, you know, even the way the committee system works, is something that uh, maybe it needs to be uh, reviewed. Because I can tell you this, as far as this committee is concerned, severally by virtue of the fact that I am the vice chairman of the committee, many a times I was uh, worried and uh, to a point that I invited the clerk to come and invite people for a committee, that was during the time when the chairman was away on medical treatment to Germany. The clerk was not forthcoming. So the clerk was never ready to cooperate with me as vice chairman or with other committee members. The, the clerk takes orders only, only from the chairman of the committee. And so... Uh, vice chairman and other members of the committee were left helpless. There was nothing we could have done and that was why so the implications are very glaring. You have heard now on the floor of the Senate a report that came in about 42 troops were killed. If we had been up to our own responsibility by going around to inspect the security situation and the condition under which our troops were sent, you know, uh, to go and fight, at least we would have been able to uh, take measures that will prevent the occurrence of this massive loss of life.